Hello everybody, my name is Iceberg Lettuce, and yesterday in Minecraft Snapshot 20w49a, we got our first look at the new Skulk Sensor Block, a brand new redstone component that allows you to pick up on stuff like player movement and block movement from a distance. So there's a lot of new cool stuff that is made possible with this addition, and I thought it would be fun to do a little mini-series sort of thing, where I talk about some new contraptions that I have built using the Skulk Sensor and how useful they are. So uh, today we're going to be talking about transmitting wireless redstone signals without interference. So we'll talk about what that means in just a second. Let's get right into the video. So when the Skulk Sensor was first announced, one of the things that people were most excited by was the prospect of wireless redstone. So that's something like this, where you basically just have a Skulk Sensor next to something that creates a sound, and all you have to do is activate that first Skulk Sensor, and it will send the signal down the line of Skulk Sensors, activating fence gate after fence gate, and you could have something that activates on the very end of the line. And you could have a signal being sent from point A to point B relatively quickly without any actual redstone, and this could go through walls and in different directions and stuff. And this is pretty cool and all, but overall it's not very reliable considering the Skulk Sensor can pick up on a variety of different noises, so even something as simple as walking too close to the system could totally break it. So if you had some sort of redstone system set up where you were trying to transmit a signal, it's really not a good idea to have a line that can get messed up by walking too close to it. So when the Skulk Sensor was first announced, I was kind of worried that it really wouldn't be that useful. But now that we have some more information about the way the Skulk Sensor interacts with comparators, I think it will be a lot more useful. So in case you're unaware, the way the Skulk Sensor works with comparators is that it will transmit a different signal from the comparator based on what sound it hears. So, for example, walking will output a signal strength of 1, whereas a piston firing will output a signal strength of 15. And this is very useful to us because it allows us to make a system that can only pick up on pistons firing very simply. So, in case you're not uh, very well versed in redstone and you don't know how a comparator works, it basically will only output a signal forward if the signals coming in from behind uh, are greater than or equal to the signal from the side. So here we have a system where the comparator has a redstone block to its side, and that basically means that it will not output a signal unless the signal coming in from behind is equal to that, a strength of 15. And this will only happen when uh, a piston fires, or an explosion happens, or lightning strikes. Those are the only things that cause a signal strength of 15. Oh, and uh, using a fishing rod, I think? But you don't really need to worry about those things, because you can control where explosions and fishing rods happen, and you can set up a lightning rod to stop lightning strikes. So that means that this system will basically never accidentally go off. It will only fire when we set off that piston. You can see the light lights up right there. If I walk near it or anything like that, it won't light up the light. So we can use this to basically create a module that will only detect um, pistons firing and then fires another piston which will be sent down the line and we can create a chain of these things in order to make a wireless redstone signal that cannot be interfered with. So here if we press this button on this end you can see the signal gets sent all the way down that line through that wall and sets off that firework but we can run as close to this thing as we want and like jump on it and stuff, and it will never accidentally start setting off the whole line. It will only uh, actually start that chain reaction when it receives a piston. I think this is most useful because you can make weird shapes like this that snake along in odd patterns. So here you can see if we fire this, it will travel all the way along that signal. You can make these in any shape just as long as this piston is in range of the next skulk sensor. So we already have lots of systems for quickly transmitting signals on a straight line, but making systems like this that go in weird shapes is pretty difficult, so I think that will be what systems like this are most useful for. Overall though, I'm not really sure how useful the Skulk Sensor is going to be for sending wireless signals. We already have quite a few systems for getting a signal from point A to point B, and I'm not really sure that having it be sent wirelessly without any actual redstone lines is going to be that useful. Sending a signal through walls is cool and all, but I can't really imagine a whole lot of scenarios where that's going to be incredibly useful in redstone contraptions. For stuff like traps and doors and other things like that, I think the Skulk Sensor will be really cool, but Overall, for just like technical redstone things, I'm not really sure it's going to become that useful. Things like this are interesting, sure, but they're not really the most efficient way of doing something that we can already do. So, overall, very cool, but I'm not really sure it's going to be useful. 
Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, everybody. Bye.